Okay, so here we are. Let's be honest. That pang of jealousy when your partner chats with an attractive someone, or you see their ex's social media posts sliding into DMs, well, the truth is that it hits us all. While blind trust could be admirable, ignoring potential red flags isn't the answer. So how do we navigate this complex emotion without turning into possessive detectives? First things first, let's acknowledge that jealousy is normal. It's an evolutionary trait, wired to keep us competitive and protect our resources. It's also rooted in our desire for connection and security. But the thing is that unchecked it can turn toxic and it can morph into possessiveness, damaging both our trust and our intimacy. So how do we manage this green monster? Well, we have four successful tips to help you cope with this unpleasant emotion. First, let's start with what sparks your jealousy. The first thing to do is to check if the feeling of jealousy is based on true facts. For example, did you hear your partner flirt with someone else on the phone? Or is it mistrust based on past experiences? Or is it personal insecurity? or maybe a history of betrayal. Those three things could leave you scarred in a way that you might perceive betrayal in situations where there was no real reason to be jealous. Identifying the root cause empowers you to address it proactively. If jealousy raises its ugly head because of true facts, then most likely you will be better off confronting your partner. Show your evidence and leave that relationship behind. You can also consider giving it a second chance most of us will, but if it happens again, then you know this is probably a serial behavior. So the real question here is, do you want to stick around to get stung by more jealousy, or would you prefer not to feel the pain anymore? So if you're looking to protect your own dignity and peace of mind, it's best to move on to greener pastures, so to speak. Well, so far we've talked about jealousy produced by true verifiable facts, but what do you do when the jealousy you feel has become irrational and has gone too far, and is not based on true facts. Rather you feel jealous as you perceive a lot of his or her actions as threats to your relationship. Furthermore, you start looking at some of the behaviors as betrayal. How do you cope with that? So let's look into some tips to overcome your jealousy. Tip number one. One treatment is to ask your partner for reassurance. Share your insecurities in an open way and ask them to help you. It can be embarrassing to admit you are the victim of your jealous feelings. However, acceptance is a good start to getting change, and it will strengthen the bond between you two. Tip number two. Explore the events and triggers that keep you bouncing in jealousy, and ask yourself how realistic the threat is. What evidence do you have that your relationship is in danger? Opening the door for someone or exchanging pleasantries can barely qualify as relationship dangers. But holding hands, for example, and exchanging secret DMs is a different story. Tip number three. Note what words you are using in your mind and notice what feelings you are experiencing. Label them as soon as you can identify them. The process of labeling out emotions has the ability to decrease their intensity. The mind rests as it is not trying to figure out anymore what it is feeling. And once you have labeled the feeling, then you can move into checking with yourself whether this is a real fact or an internal trigger. This process empowers you to make better decisions and brings you self-confidence and trust in yourself. Tip number four. Bite your lip. Take a moment before making any small comment or giving a look. Count to ten and see how you feel after the moment has passed. Don't let it make you jealous immediately. Interrupt the old patterns you are used to run. Doing this will reassure you that you can handle the situation and that you are always in control. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so we can bring you more videos like this.